Nicole Kidman became the very first Australian actress to win the Best Actress Oscar in 2003. At 23 minutes and 30 seconds, Kidman's performance became the third shortest Best Actress winning performance of all time after Louise Fletcher in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Patricia Neal in HUD. And you can watch videos I've made about these brilliant women too. But Kidman, just as numerous Best Actress Oscar winners before her, won the Oscar for portraying a real-life person, the world-renowned author Virginia Woolf. Kidman was born in Hawaii and grew up in Sydney, Australia. Having shown promise in acting since school, Kidman pursued exactly that early on. She attended multiple theatre schools in Australia, and in 1983, at the age of 16, she made her Australian film debut in Bush Christmas and BMX Bandits. From that moment onward, Nicole's acting career took off. She starred in more Australian films like Wind Rider, Emerald City and Dead Calm. The naturally curly redhead with porcelain skin and 5'11 stature stood out and ventured into Hollywood at the onset of the 90s. In 1990, she made her Hollywood debut in Days of Thunder, a wildly successful film where Kidman, alongside her then boyfriend and eventual husband Tom Cruise. Although Kidman was a newbie to the Hollywood scene, she was already a relevant award-winning star in Australia. She won the Australian Film Academy Award and Logie Award in 1988 for her leading role in a miniseries called Vietnam and two Logie Awards for her role in Bangkok Hilton, a series in 1990. Kidman starred in more early 90s films like Flirting, Billy Bathgate and Far and Away opposite Tom Cruise. The 90s consisted of major Hollywood collaborations like Batman Forever, To Die For, and The Portrait of a Lady, which was directed by Jane Campion, the same filmmaker that captured Holly Hunter in her Oscar-winning role. Kidman, being the other half of a major Hollywood power couple with Tom Cruise, was always in the spotlight, and that made her even more sought after. The couple appeared in the third and final film together in 1999, called Eyes Wide Shut, directed by Stanley Kubrick. In 2001, news came out that the couple divorced and Kidman realized that this was her moment to shine on film. She was no longer attached to her ex-husband, but was now an individual entity. He no longer defined her. She starred in major films following the highly publicized and scrutinized divorce, like in Moulin Rouge, Cold Mountain, Dogville, and Stepford Wives. Kidman was nominated her first time for the Best Actress Oscar for her singing, dancing, and acting role in Moulin Rouge. By the way, she broke her rib on the set of this film and production was halted for her recovery. Kidman said this, out of my divorce came work that was applauded, so that was an interesting thing for me. And her most applauded role led her to become an Oscar winner. It was her brilliant acting in The Hours opposite Oscar winners Meryl Streep and Julianne Moore that solidified Kidman as an irreplaceable star. She portrayed the feminist writer Virginia Woolf. Kidman was unrecognizable. She went through great lengths to fully immerse herself in playing a real life figure physically and vocally. In 2003, she went up to accept her Best Actress Oscar making her the very first Australian actress to win a Best Actress Oscar. In the early 2000s, Nicole appeared in Birth, Fur and Margot at the Wedding. They were more lower budget films. However, she also got paid a whopping $3.71 million for appearing in a four minute Baz Luhrmann directed Chanel No. 5 ad, even going as far as being the highest paid actress in a commercial. Lerman and Kidman partnered again in a 2008 epic adventure film called Australia, co-starring Hugh Jackman. In 2011, Kidman garnered a Best Actress Oscar nom for her role in Rabbit Hole. This indie drama with a $3 million budget was also co-produced by Kidman herself. In 2014, Nicole had the opportunity to play yet another real-life figure and a fellow Oscar winner. Grace Kelly in the biopic called Grace of Monaco. In 2017, Nicole got her one and only 
Best Supporting Actress Oscar nomination for her role in a biographical drama called Lion, Nicole's aptitude to jump into physically transformative and risque roles seems to bring her the most acclaim. She proved this fact in films like The Killing of a Sacred Deer, The Beguiled, Destroyer, and Bombshell opposite Oscar winner Charlize Theron. All of these are recent successes. Although Kidman's TV career paused in the late 80s upon her Hollywood dream coming true, she has returned to giving brilliant TV performances in Big Little Lies opposite major actresses and Oscar winners like Meryl Streep, Reese Witherspoon and Laura Dern, as well as The Undoing. Moreover, both of these HBO series were executive produced by Kidman. Nicole Kidman proves just how versatile she is. She brings a touch of sophistication and softness to complicated and intense female characters. Her transformations on screen are incredibly satisfying and all of these accolades presented to Nicole Kidman show her everlasting superiority. But I think her Oscar win goes down in history as the most valuable. Well, I also think, you know, you make many decisions creatively for many different reasons. Sometimes it's just sheer, I want to sort of um, Moulin Rouge, I want to fly around on a trapeze and... <laughs> um, of course, why wouldn't you? I mean, the hundred men with top hats on and look down at them. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I wanted to sing, and I mean, I, th I think for me, a lot of times, I'm, I'm, I want to explore. I've, I have a desire to sort of get into every nook and cranny of my consciousness and my psyche, and then also other people's. And um, a lot of it is just opportunity, though, as well. Yep. I, I have to say, as an actor, 